Hey, what's up everyone? This is Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this short presentation, I'm going to talk to you about how to calculate a person's meal intake. But as always, before I get started, I just want to remind you to smash that subscribe button, especially if you're new to my channel. Kick the like button on this video and all of my other videos. And don't forget, ring that notification bell if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload new content. So during your certification testing, you know you have two parts, right? You have the skills portion and the written knowledge portion, okay, of the test. Um, in the written knowledge portion of your uh, certification exam, there you have different versions of the test. Right now, they're using four versions. Okay, they're using the purple version, the teal or blue version, the green version, and the orange version. All right, so four different versions. You may have at least one or two questions, depending on what version of the test you receive, on your test regarding meal intake or calculating the person's meal in intake, okay? So you have to be really careful about how the question or, or the context of the question and especially the contents of the question, okay? There are two variables that are important. One set of those variables lie within the question. And basically it's that variable is telling you the amount of the certain food item that the person ate. The second variable is the actual pie chart itself, okay, which will tell you um, how much percentage is accounted for or that food item accounts for that entire meal, all right? So let's start off first with reading this question. So the question reads, during the lunch meal, Mrs. Jenkins ate half of her hamburger and fries, half of her salad, and all of her fruit cocktail. She drank all of her sweet tea. What will you document as Mrs. Jenkinson's intake for her lunch meal? Now, I'm going to tell you what is not important, okay? What's not important is it was a lunch meal, okay? It doesn't matter if it was breakfast, lunch, or dinner, okay? All of that is irrelevant. That's just fluff that they put into the question, okay? Again, what you have to be concerned with is the amount of food that she ate, okay? The amount of food. The second, again, is the variable, okay? What percentage or yet yeah, what percentage accounts for the entire meal of each food item, okay? What percentage of each, fo each food item accounts for the entire meal? All right. So if you look at the pie chart, and I believe um, the meal intake questions on your test, uh, either the pie chart is um, just below the question or it may be off to the side. OK, it really doesn't matter. Right. But just so you know where it's going to be located at. So it could be at the bot uh, at the below the question or to the side of the question. So if you look at hamburger and fries, the hamburger and fries portion of the meal accounts for 50% of that meal, all right, 50%. The salad accounts for 30%, the fruit cocktail accounts for 10%, and the sweet tea accounts for another 10%. So if you add up all of these percentages, that's 100%, okay? So if Mrs. Jenkins ate all of her food that was on her meal tray and she drank all of her sweet tea, you would document 100%, okay? She ate 100% of her meal, of her lunch meal, right? But pertaining to this question, that's not the case, right? So if you look at it, you're gonna see that Mrs. Jenkins ate only half of her hamburger and french fries, right? Now you look down here, her hamburger and fries account for 50%. So you'll just have to do a little basic math, okay? Basic math. And what you're gonna do is div division, right? Half of 50 is what? 25, okay? She ate half of her hamburger and fries. So you're going to divide two into 50, which will give you the 25%. Now let's look at the other food item, her salad. She only ate half of her salad. 
Her salad, if you look at the pie chart, accounts for 30% of the meal. Again, you're going to use basic division. Half of 30 is 15%, right? Her fruit cocktail, she ate all of her fruit cocktail. If you look down in the pie chart, her fruit cocktail accounts for 10% of her meal. And she also drank all of her sweet tea, which again accounts for 10% of her meal, all right? So now you've actually broken down uh, what percentage of each food item Mrs. Jenkins actually ate. Okay, so now all you have to do with these percentages on the right, the breakdown that you did, all you have to do now is basic addition. You just add up all of these percentages, which will give you a total of 60%. So that is what you will document. You will document that Mrs. Jenkins ate 60% of her milk. All right, I'm going to advance to the and we're going to take a look at another question. Now, this question um, has, is in the same context, but it has different content, okay, in the way that um, the mill is explained to you, all right? So let's read this question. It says, Mrs. Jenkins was served two scrambled eggs, two slices of bacon, one slice of toast, and a glass of orange juice for her breakfast meal. She ate half of her scrambled eggs, two slices of bacon, and all of her toast, and she drank all of her orange juice. What will you document as Mrs. Jenkinson's intake for her breakfast meal? Now, again, you know, whether it was breakfast, lunch, or dinner, that's irrelevant, okay? It really is. It's irrelevant. What is relevant is the amount of food she started out with and what percentage of that item of food accounts for her entire meal, right? So if you look down below the question at the pie chart, you'll see that her scrambled eggs accounts for 50% of her meal, okay? So it doesn't matter if she had two scrambled eggs, three scrambled eggs, or five scrambled eggs. What matters is that she, that, that portion of food accounts for 50% excuse me, accounts for 50% of her meal and that she only ate half of her scrambled eggs, all right? Okay, I hope y'all are following me. Now, her bacon accounts for 25% of the entire meal, toast 15% and orange juice 10%, all right? So again, like with the previous pie chart, if you add all the percentages in this pie chart, it will add up to 100%, all right? So again, if Miss Jenkins ate all of her breakfast, all of the food and all of her uh, beverage that was served to her, she would eat or you would document 100%, okay? But again, as with the first question, that's not the case, all right? That's not the case. So she only ate half of her eggs, okay, half. So you'll divide two into 50. Again, it doesn't matter if she had three eggs, if the question says she had four eggs or five eggs. What matters is whatever amount of eggs she had, she only ate half of. And her scrambled eggs account for 50% of the meal. So because she only ate half, as with the first, as with the first question, you divide two into 50, which will give you the 25%. Okay, now um, it also says that she ate two slices of bacon, right? And that's what she was served. She was served two slices of bacon and her bacon. So she ate all of her bacon, which accounts for another 25%. Okay, then it says that she ate all of her toast. She was served one slice of toast. So she ate all of that. If you look in the pie chart, her toast accounts for 15% of her meal. And then it says she drank all of her orange juice. If you look in the pie chart, you'll see that her orange juice accounts for 10% of her meal. Now, all you'll have to do, as with the first question, is total all of these percentages up, okay? Where you broke them down, okay? The percentages that you broke down 
All you have to do is total them up now, okay? Add them together, and this will give you per mill intake, which is 75%. 25 plus 25 is 50, plus 15% 15 is 65, plus 10 is 75%. So this is what you would document uh, for Mrs. Jenkinson's breakfast mill intake, 75%. Okay, I hope y'all are understanding. If you are not, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try to do another, uh, you know, super, uh, super uh, clip video for you. Okay, that is how you determine how much uh, or what the percentage is that the person has eaten or has, you know, intake. All right, so if you want those two PowerPoint slides, just to study a little bit, all you have to do is email me. Now, I'm not, I'm no longer using my um, original business email address because it, it, you know, it's, I have to like forward, you know, I just have to do too much with it, right? Because I get a lot of emails now. But um, I have my new um, contact email address that you can email me. Um, it's natsap, that's N-A-T-C-E-P, instructor, jar, J-A-R, at outlook.com. Okay, if you want those two PowerPoint slides, just email me in the subject line, just put PowerPoint slides or um, intake slides, okay? And I will get those to you. Um, I'm gonna get ready to end this super clip right now on calculating meal intake. But before I do, as always, people, please subscribe to my channel, okay? Especially if you are new visiting my channel and if you are watching my videos, okay? Go ahead and subscribe, all right? Um, also, kick the like button on this video and all of my other videos. You kicking the like button will make my channel more recognizable to the public and it will also make it easier to locate, okay? Not only on YouTube, but also in Google, okay? So don't forget to kick that like button. And then you want to ring that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload new content. Hey, I just want to thank you all for your continued support. Don't forget, visit my Etsy storefront. It has a whole new look, uh, you know, different uh, or, or content pertaining to uh, your state certification exam, okay? And I may throw in, a, a, you know, some t-shirts here and there, um, but those really weren't selling. Um, but, you know, yeah, just visit my Etsy storefront. Got a new name, got a new look. It's www.etsy.com slash shop slash CNA Quest, okay? Q-U-E-S-T, CNA Quest, all right? All right, guys, that's it. Don't forget, subscribe, like, and ring that notification bell. See y'all later. Leave comments or your questions um, in the comment section below this video. Ciao.